me about the beautiful bush that I have here. This is an azalea bush. It actually was planted in 1963 when the house was brought here. This azalea bush seems to get more beautiful every year. It's like really acid ground, so they really like the acid dirt. Here on the homestead, our dirt is very acid because of all the pine trees that I have. And it just seems like it has a lot more acid in this area. Um, roses love acid dirt as well, and so does tomatoes. So this is my azalea bush, and it is beautiful. So I'll pan the camera back and actually show you how big it is. So this is how big it is. I'm 5'9", and it's taller than me. I have my lilac tree. This tree was only $7 at Tractor Supply nine years ago, and it has grown by leaps and bounds. The lilac tree is planted in memory of my mother. Now, my mother is still living, but she is in the last stages of dementia. But there's a story about my lilac tree. When I was a little girl, my mother loved the smell of lilacs. So one day, my father took my mother and I on this journey. We went to an abandoned farm and we picked all the lilacs we could. They were so beautiful. My mother happily filled every vase that she owned and filled every room with the lilacs. My daddy is a kind and gentle man and he enjoyed doing things to make my mother happy. Shortly after all of these lilacs were in the water and all of the vases, tiny little black bugs started crawling out. <laughs> the lilacs were infested with some kind of little black beetle and soon hundreds of beetles were walking all over the counters. Mother quickly gathered up all her lilacs and she took them outside. But the memories of my father picking the lilacs is something I will never forget. My father, that's just how he is and that's the kind of man he is. So I plant my lilacs in memories of my mother and memories of my childhood. You will see in the videos to come that a lot of the things that I plant are for sentimental reasons. I'm a very sentimental person. And so I think you're going to enjoy seeing all of the history and the stories that I have with these plants. There's nothing quite like the smell of lilac. Lilac is my favorite scent. I talk a lot about planting sweet peas. My mother had an aunt and she was what we would call horse and buggy people. She was not Amish, they were Joe Wangers. Joe Wangers is a spin-off of the Mennonite and the Amish and they rode and drove horse and buggy. My aunt loved to have sweet peas and so I plant them in memory of my mother's aunt. <laughs> There are many ways that we can keep the memory of our loved ones alive. There are many things that we can do. One of them is planting things that they enjoyed. My father-in-law loved yellow marigolds, and that's what I have planted. When my yellow marigolds flourish, I will show you them. I plant them in memory of him. Everyone seems to have a flower that they like and loves this azalea bush and he loves the lilacs. Every day when he comes home from work, he takes a good whiff of that lilac. It won't last very long and the scent, the flowers don't last very long, but while they're here with us, we can take good scent of it and we can remember our loved ones. How do you remember your loved one? Do you plant things that they enjoyed? Do you have a garden? that's made just for flowers of your loved ones. I know quite a few of you do. Do you have things in your house that you gaze upon and remember? Are you sentimental like me? There are many reasons why I think I'm sentimental and one of them is because I'm adopted. I don't take for granted things in life like maybe some would because I know that things could have been very different for me.
Life is short. Live in the moment, no matter what that is. Enjoy the things that you like. I talk all about saving money. I talk all about simplicity. But sometimes in life, you need to do the things that you enjoy. Sometimes in life, it's good to do something that you enjoy. Every once in a while, it's great to go out and have that special meal that you like at a restaurant. It's always a happy medium. Live life to the fullest. And remember that life is short. And remember those that are long gone from this world. But don't remember them with sadness. That's not how they would want you to remember them. But remember them with happiness. And remember them with the memories. Keep their memories alive, however you choose to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now I'd like to read to you a poem. It's entitled, She is Gone. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all she's left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live in yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she wants you to, smile, open your eyes, love and go on. We may find comfort in picturing our beautiful mother or grandma, being welcomed in heaven and being reunited with loved ones who have passed before her. This is a sweet poem that captures the settlement. My grandmother, in my rose garden of memories, I see you standing there, an angel in disguise. You taught me how to care. I long to hear your voice, for real and not in just my dreams. I'm missing you so much these days, how empty my world seems. People say time heals all wounds and someday the pain will subside. But Grandma, I can tell you, I think they must have lied. The emptiness I'm feeling now is strong and I am weak. These days go by without you, so dreary and so bleak. But in my rose garden of memories, I know you'll always be. For those that are gone from this mortal world, my heart you'll always be.
feel my soul long after you. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone will my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you.